next step is to joint the top of the blade. So I'm going to put it in and tighten it down. Make sure it's tight. And then go with the saw. Once all your teeth are level, drop your saw down into your vise, just to the point where when you file it won't be touch your file won't dig into your vise. And if it's not low enough then it'll make a really loud, high pitched squeaking noise. The file you're using should reach from the baseline all the way down to the gullet. For this part we want to be 90 degrees going straight across this way and then 60 degrees tilted to the side. If you're cutting mainly hardwoods, then you would want a 50 degree angle, so your flim would be a lot smaller. If you're cutting mainly softwood, you'd probably want to go more like a 70 degree angle, more straight up and down. As you're filing, make sure to count each stroke, so that'd be one, two, three, Four, move on to the next one. One, two, three, four. And just keep doing whatever number you're doing. So for me, I'm doing four for each. As you're filing the saw, just make sure you stay at a 90 and a 60 degree angle. You don't want some teeth to be flat, some to be uh, 90, it'll just mess up the saw. For people that don't know, the flame is the in between part right there. The gullet, of course, is at the bottom. The baseline of the teeth is the very top where all your teeth should tips should be. I'm about a third of the way done, and I'm going to come in and check, shine a flashlight, and if I can see through the tips, then I've messed up.
So we're done sharpening the saw. And if you want any terminology for saws, I will put a link in the description. So if nothing else, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.